I myself, Divya KB, lecturer in Commerce, GSIPU College, Mysore. So let us see the syllabus of Accountancy. So there are 11 chapters. It is divided into two parts, part 1 as well as part 2. In the part 1, first chapter is Accounting for Accounting for Non-Profit organization so total marks allotted to this chapter is 15 marks so in this chapter you learn about the meaning and characteristics of non-profit organization then how to maintain the accounting records receipt signed payment account income and expenditure account as well as balance sheet so non-profit organization means it is formed in order to render the service to the society example educational institutions hospitals and sports club so in the next one the second chapter is accounting for partnership so they are going to learn the basic concepts, basic concepts of partnership. So what is partnership? So partnership means relationship between the two or more persons to share the profits of the business carried on by all or any one of them acting for all. So in this chapter, you are going to learn about the nature of partnership, partnership deed and special aspects of partnership accounts, maintenance of the accounts that is fixed capital and fluctuating capital, distribution of the profit among the partners as well as the guarantee of profits to a partner. So the total marks allotted to this chapter is 9. So the third chapter is reconstitution of partnership fund. So there you learn about admission of a partner. So what is admission of a partner? When a new partner is admitted to an existing partnership firm is called as admission of a partner. So in this chapter you learn about the modes of reconstitutions of a partnership firm, admission of a new partner, new profit sharing ratio, sacrificing ratio as well as goodwill treatment and revaluation of the assets and liabilities and how to maintain the accounts in, in the admission of a firm. So the total marks allotted to this chapter is 15 marks. Next one fourth one again the reconstitution of partnership firm under retirement and death of a partner death of a partner so total marks allotted to this chapter is 13 marks so so what is retirement of a partner so partner get retired from the partnership firm due to illness or old age or due to misunderstanding between the partners or if any other partners carry the unful, unlawful activities in the partnership firm. So in this chapter you learn about the ascertainment of amount due to the retiring partner as well as the after the deceased partner and calculation of new profit sharing ratio, gain ratio, goodwill treatment, revaluation of the assets and liabilities, uh, then how to maintain the accounts under the retirement as well as the death of the partner. So the fifth, cha fifth chapter is dissolution of, of partnership fund. So total marks allotted 
to this chapter is 40 marks. Then what is dissolution? So all the partners of the firm cut off their connection from the firm with the firm uh, then the firm is then the firm will be closed then it is called as dissolution of a partnership firm so here you're going to learn the meaning of dissolution of partnership dissolution of partnership firm and settlement of their accounts as well as accounting treatment so total five chapters is included in part one next move on to the part two so part one is purely from second chapter to fifth chapter it is purely a partnership accounts next one is part two so part two it is purely the company accounts so under the part two first chapter is that is accounting for share capital accounting for share capital so before knowing the share capital then let us know about the meaning of company so what is company company means it is an artificial person created under the law having the perpetual succession and a common seal which is used for its signature so if the company required the capital means the company issues the shares to the public then the capital will be raised the accounting for share capital in this chapter you learn about the features of the company kinds of company as well as share capital of a company nature and types of different types of shares how to issue the shares accounting treatment as well as for feature and reissue of shares so the total marks allotted to this chapter is 15 marks next move on to the second chapter in part 2 that is issue and redemption of debentures issue and redemption redemption of debentures so total marks allotted to this chapter is 19 marks then what is debentures so debenture it is an acknowledgement of debt issued by the company in this chapter you learn about the meaning of debentures differences between the shares as well as the debentures types of debentures issue of debentures issue of debentures at par premium as well as discount and terms of issue of debentures debenture issued for consideration other than cash as well as redemption of debentures next move on to the next chapter that is financial statements of a company statements of a company financial statements of a company so the total marks allotted to this chapter is nine marks so financial statement financial statement means so it is the end product of accounting process which shows the financial positions of the company which is required or which provides the information to the internal users as well as external users so in this chapter you learn about the meaning of financial statement nature of financial statement objectives of financial statement types of financial statement uses of financial statement as well as limitations of financial statement so total marks allotted to this chapter is nine marks next one next chapter is analysis of financial statement financial statement analysis of financial statement so total marks allotted to this chapter is 50 marks so what is analysis of financial statement 
so it is a critical evaluation of a financial information contained in the financial statement in order to take the decision regarding the operation of the business so in this chapter you learn about the meaning and analysis of the financial statement objectives of financial statement significance of financial statement tools of analysis of financial statement comparative statement as well as common size statement and lastly limitation of the financial statement so the next chapter under part 2 that is the fifth chapter is accounting ratios accounting ratios so total marks allotted to this chapter is 19 marks so what is ratio so ratio means it is a relationship between the two numbers which is expressed in percentage or uh, proportions etc so ratio analysis means mathematical tool which is used to evaluate the financial position of the company so in this chapter you learn about the meaning of accounting ratios objectives of accounting ratios advantages and limitations of the accounting ratios and ty different types of ratios what are the different types of ratios liquidity ratios solvency ratios turnover ratios as well as profitability ratios so the la last chapter in this one is that is cash flow statement cash flow statement so total marks allotted to this chapter is 9 marks what is cash flow so cash flow is nothing but which shows the inflow as well as outflow of the cash from the business so in this chapter you learn about the objectives of cash flow statement benefits of cash flow statement cash flow and cash and cash equivalents as well as ascertainment of the operating activities ascertaining the cash flow from investing activities financial activities and lastly preparation of the cash flow statement okay let us see the question paper pattern of accountancy so here 3 hours 15 minutes time is allotted to the paper total marks is maximum marks is 100 so there are five sections part a part b c d and as well as e so in section a section a consisting first very short answer type very short answer type here two fill in the blanks questions will be there and mcq two questions will be there true or false one question expansion one example one and very short answer type three question will be there so total number of question given in this section is 10 so number of question to be answered is 8 marks for each question is 1 so total marks for each section that is under section a is 8 next one part b part b consist of short answer type short answer type here the number of question total number of question given eight questions the number of qu questions to be answered is five so each question carries two marks total 10 marks is allotted to this section so next one is part c in part c small problems will be there small problems so total number of questions will be given seven question so number of questions to be answered is four and each question carries six marks so total 24 marks next one big problems 
big problems so total number of question seven question will be there number of question to be answered is four marks allotted is 12 total marks is 48 part e practical oriented question so total number of question is three number of question to be answered is two marks allotted is each question five so the total is 10 marks so the total maximum marks is 100 so i hope today's session was useful for you all thank you